Hey everybody, it's uh, Eugene here, and my first video where I got my shades on because it's really sunny, so uh, to avoid crying, I'm going to keep these on. Uh, today what I'm going to be doing is answering a question that has come up a few times before, and that is whether or not you should be using a gimbal or a stabilizer with your phone when recording with the LiDAR sensor on the iPhone. And the shorter answer is right away, no you don't, not if you're using Recon 3D. And part of the reason is that there's some intelligence in the algorithms that basically pulls the frames that you need from the video that are the most, well, crisp, okay, or the less blurred. Now, if you're only using the LiDAR, I can see why that might be beneficial. And there's been videos online that talk about, you know, using a gimbal with the LiDAR and it improves the result. So what I'm going to do today is a quick experiment where I'm going to do a recording, two recordings actually, and one of them, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be shaking the phone uh, quite a bit and just holding it in my hand kind of like this and then see what kind of a result I can get in the point cloud data. And then I'll do another one that's just a little bit more steady holding it by hand. Now, when we're talking about you know, steadying the phone or the sensor, usually using a monopod can help significantly, but it's not really necessary to use a gimbal. And for some gimbals, it's hard to get the turns that you need and that sort of thing because it's trying to stabilize the camera. So uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll run this. And I'm gonna be doing quite a lot of shaking, so it's gonna be exaggerated a little bit. For most people, when they're just using the phone and, you know, just kind of holding it, probably the worst that I've seen is when people hold it this way and then there's these like little rotations and little movements that they do like this. And that can be um, somewhat harmful, let's say. But you'll see that it's actually quite robust and that, you know, I'm going to be exaggerating and probably doing a really bad job, not something that you would probably do when you're normally recording, but I'm hoping that it'll make the point. So let me get to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got Recon 3D open here, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to call this first one No Shake, something like that. And let me see if I can see that. Yeah, it looks okay. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to use the five millimeter settings, uh, just the standard. So I'm going to go save, and let's see. I'll walk over here and just do a little bit. And I've got quite a bit here in view, so I'm going to do No Shake. So I'm just going to go one pass this way, nice and steady like this, and maybe what I'll do is I'll just step forward and I'll follow the exact same path when I come back again, just like that. And I'm just getting up to about here and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. All right, so a little bit of overlap, pretty steady movement here, and I'm gonna save this one for later. So now what I'm gonna do is another one, and I'm gonna call this one uh, there's definitely going to be shake in this one, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and go save scan settings, and I'll do the same thing. I'll start from here. Okay, now I'll try to see, or you, hopefully you'll be able to see my hand here. So I'm going to start recording. Okay, and I'm just going to start shaking the phone here like this. Probably not something I would normally do, okay? But you can probably see what I'm doing here, just kind of vibrating the phone back and forth. Now let me move closer here. And I'm going to keep moving this around, kind of shaking it, doing little rotations and stuff like that. Something I probably wouldn't do up to about this point. And I'm going to stop it again. Boom. There we go. And let me save that one for later. Okay, so basically I've got two scans here, one with a lot of shake, one with no shake or just kind of holding it by hand uh, steady. I'm gonna process these and then I'm gonna bring them up into Cloud Compare and we'll be able to see the difference between the two. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're back in Cloud Compare now and I've got the scans already loaded. So I have shake. So this is the one where I was moving around and shaking the phone that's on the right and then no shaking was on the left. And so this is really interesting actually. So if I start moving in close, now you can see there's an area I probably didn't um, angle the phone very well, but this is the one with shake in the phone and you'll see that it doesn't look that bad. In fact, you know, the data looks actually pretty good. And if you look down, it's very crisp. There isn't a lot of waviness or other stuff going on. So you know, on visual, just a quick visual inspection, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, back here where there's a lot of texture, it seems like to have reconstructed pretty well. This is the, the other one where I had no shake. And if you go back in here, you'll see also I've got pretty good textures like over here. If you look at the back in this particular area, that seems to have reconstructed about the same. So 
you know, without getting too deep into it, without doing a lot of analysis and that sort of thing, just a visual inspection, at least, it looks like they are both very, very similar. And I think that's just a testament to the algorithm that's inside of the EveryPoint engine. If you want to know more, I did an interview with Jared Heinley, who's the chief scientist at Every Point, and he talks about the fact that they can filter out blurred frames and things like that. So from this regard, I hope that this uh, proves a point that using a gimbal doesn't have a big impact when using Recon 3D. Just hold the phone as steady as you can in case there's a little bit of shake or blurring. Recon 3D and the Every Point engine will take care of it. Thanks.